welcome to yet another video it is your girl in a way and there's absolutely no way without going through the way and we believe that jesus christ is the way i am so excited to be finally back and i'm gonna do a little chit chat video because you know what sometimes you just need to chat a little talk about stuff i know in my previous video i went through a brief rundown of how the year might have went for me and how the year looked in this video i just want to speak about becoming i really just want to speak about what my life has been becoming and i think that it's a very important thing to talk about and sometimes to really pay attention to yourself and like do that self introspection that's necessary to be like okay what has changed in the last couple of four years in the last couple of five years you know because i've had a lot of shifts in my life um every single year um, i've had a lot of m massive like life-changing events occur such as losing my loved ones um, like it's things like that that really change and make you question yourself and wonder who am I and what am I and what's my purpose on this earth and I just feel like I've reached that point where I've asked that question so many times I can finally give you an answer if you ask me who are you without um, giving you my age my profession or what I'm studying or what I do for a living I just know how to now answer that question because I am royalty I am a child of God I am told to reign but I'm anointed and you know and appointed and all those things I'm now able to give you those identifications without feeling so insecure about whether or not somebody's going to be accepted of my religion because they are not of the Christian faith. I don't care who you are. I'm a child of God. That means I am a daughter of a king. That means I am a queen because my father is king of kings. So um, that's really where I am in the space that I'm at. And what I've really been doing in this like short holiday is taking care of myself. Like I feel like that's something that I usually just do not pay attention to. Like my skin um, especially when I get too busy it's like when I when I get too busy I will do like the general hygiene things like because I need to be clean but then I wouldn't do them in a way that's pleasurable this is like um, what do they call them these are activities of daily living so that's like in occupational therapy like the core foundations of um, your activities things that make you and give you purpose sometimes I just do them meaninglessly because I need to have them done but I feel like this brief holiday has really gotten me to that space of realizing that these are not just some couple of days or some couple of things I need to tick off my list and I want to specify that when I was so stressed and in, in my most hectic moments that these activities of daily living were um, such big achievements to me if I was so sick to the back there was a point in this degree where I was like super sick not in this degree like just in this year where I was super sick and I had nobody to like really take care of me and whatnot but myself and when I did eventually do all of those things I was able to just you know like recognize and do those activities of daily living like brushing my teeth and uh, washing longer showers oh my word longer showers are a miracle but then obviously consider your your, your, your water bill I don't pay a bill here but like consider your water bill if you pay a bill but I don't so longer showers just make sense and I took one long shower that day and I really just like sat there and I remember watching one of these, um, like watching a podcast by Jackie Hill Perry, like the, the I think it's 30, it's 30 minutes with the Perrys. And in one of those, Jackie Hill Perry mentioned how like she thinks like the, like she prays in the shower and, and whatnot. And I was like, hmm, that sounds interesting. Cause like usually I just like listen to um, the Bible in the shower. And then I was like, maybe let me also try, you know, like worship and pray. Like, especially when my neighbor went away cause we shared all the room. So when she went away, I was like, let me try it. Maybe it's gonna be nice. Yo, it was so powerful. Like, I don't think I've ever wept so much in the presence of God because of his glory just feeling me. And the awkward thing was now I'm kneeling inside the shower. <laughs> I'm literally kneeling in the shower and I'm like, oh God, you are so amazing. I worship you, Jesus. 
and I am literally whipping in the shower like I am in full blown tears I'm just like God if I can just have you I have everything I need you are all that I am oh Lord take my life as a living sacrifice you know like you know when you know when the anointing of God hits you hey like you say things like <laughs> I wanna be trial for no you will be trial by fire <laughs> and I feel like when this year started, um, when the Lord spoke the word over my life and he said, this year we're building foundations, I just thought, you know, you know he was kidding. <laughs> not, not like he was kidding, like, I just feel like the way I pictured it is not how it happened. Because um, I remember later in that, like, like, I think it was sometime in April, May, when God was like, we're building foundations, aren't we? So it's time to break down whatever false uh, foundation you have established. And I was like, what do you mean? False, false, me, false establishment? What, what did I do? And then he was like, let me expose you. I'm telling you, from the day God spoke to me and said, let me reestablish and show you like it was like every single thing that i thought was real or not everything obviously like this 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 was relationships and people that were genuinely are genuine people and that god had really intended and planned in a certain way that it would happen in that in that particular way for me to get connected to those people so it just happened like that like it just came and it was like a wind that just blew and it was like <laughs> you know like that 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 pepper pig story <laughs> you huff and you puffed and you blow the house down that literally was how i felt in april like april april was such a tough month it was such a difficult month but it was my strongest month spiritually it is the month i was on fire like okay I'm, like, i feel like i'm more on fire now <laughs> but then like in april that was like it was like a surge of like fire that has not been like out there and i feel like i really reached that point where i'm so comfortable with my identity and i'm so secure in my identity that it does not matter what you say it will not eliminate what God has said about me. Like, I feel like you get to that point when you've been intimate with God enough and like you've been so intimate with God that he's told you who you are. Nobody else can take it away from you. Like, I think I'm there now where it's like, I don't care what you say. <laughs> I really don't care. Like, <laughs> I share my life on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, podcast, whatnot, because it was it was impressed on me to do so you know and i share that not so that you people can judge what i do or praise me no 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 i am a mess that above everything like i am a sinner to the core and i need jesus and that's the beauty part about it all where like jesus just continuously comes and he shows up and i feel like when april happened and i lost everything like basically this video is an explanation of why i had i had not been uploading as consistently as possible i needed to step back and realize that i'm not in control god is and yo when i step back yo when i step back i'm telling you god was like i will give you peace I will give you like I don't think anything can ever compare to the presence of God like because even now I was like recording um, a video for the Dean's Merit Awards um, list like congratulating people because I never make it to that list guys I want to cry I've always wanted to make it but now I'm like in my final year never made it the one time I was close was second year third year was not looking pretty either so it will take a miracle <laughs> uh, but I was making this video and like you know they said like I must congratulate people and whatnot so I was congratulating them and then like I was fighting <laughs> myself from saying I pray that the Lord keeps you and bless like I was fighting from blessing the people 
that were getting this merit award, you know. And I was just like, oh, word of a word. It was so funny. I was like, I'm such a Christian. But anyway, I just felt like shooting this video. And I hope that you really like enjoy it. Um, just to show you my goofy personality. Because I am very really funny when I want to be. But um, we're on a journey now to recover the year. On a journey. Not even to recover the year. Like there's a song that I love. It's, all, it's also scriptural based. It's called a Battle Bond, Planet Shrinkers, um, no, Planet Blue, um, and it's like there's this rap part where he says, um, what? Yo, come on, remember the, the lyrics? <laughs> Thing is, the song sounds so alike, guys, like, there's so many that sound so alike, like Battle Born, Saint, um, Kamsamida, okay, Kamsamida is a very different, um, okay, shh, I'm, I'm recording something, laptop, I'm recording something, um, but anyway, <laughs> That's the only noise I ever get to pull my laptop or these birds outside just quick 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 They make so much noise, it's really ridiculous. I don't understand why. Uh but what is the name again? I'm trying to remember the name. Um no not the name, I'm, I'm trying to remember the line. Um So warning, so I've noticed I'm ready for anything if you want. So war cry, it's for culture. No weapon against me prosper. And I'm taking back what you stole two fold seven fold. Yes. And I'm taking back what you stole two fold seven fold. I am taking back what the devil stole two fold seven fold. I am taking it all back. Do you understand what I'm saying? Whatever the enemy took and he decided to come to my whether it be generational, whether it be in my life, in the lives of people that I love, wherever, I am taking it back. I am claiming it back and I'm claiming it even more. And I hope you like this video, you know, just, you know, just, just some motivation. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Bye!